The MCA has always wanted to run a specific art and dementia program. We were really interested in a research component. Um, the MCA um, really wanted to, to sort of combine art and research together. So we contacted the Brain and Mind Centre and asked them if they wanted to collaborate with us on this project. What I was really excited about um, with this program, they're combining not only the viewing of art but also the construction of, of art and actually doing something practical. The reason why this particular program combines viewing artwork alongside participating in artwork is that we really see people being able to engage physically as another step to the creative process. But also to me as a neuroscientist I think that that must be doing something in terms of actually um, using parts of the brain that otherwise wouldn't be used just by viewing artwork. The other key feature about this program is that unlike many of the other ones that have been conducted around the world, this one is being more formally evaluated scientifically. We want to see actually if um, this form of art intervention has any beneficial effects for the brain in terms of neuroplasticity. One of the main differences that we start to see is that people who are very um, inhibited at the beginning really start to come out of their shell. So they might have started the program with their heads down, not, not giving you eye contact, but it's actually after the actual create creative process. I think there's something in the play, in the exchange that's happening with the create with the creativity. You'll start to see people, they, they laugh a lot more, they communicate. Doing it together with him, I've seen a different side of him. Um, he's much more calmer, able to express with the materials that's given, uh, he's putting more thought into it and we're able to, uh, the fact it's, we are able to combine our thoughts and creativity in, in doing a piece of work. My team is fairly removed from the intervention itself and so what we do is actually formally evaluate people at the beginning of each program and also at the end of the program and give them formal tests of brain functioning and also mood and well-being and importantly also interview and give questionnaires to the carers as well and see what kind of benefits it's had on them. You know the art and health realm is something that's really booming at the moment and people are really trying to explore and I think we're really excited to be working with someone like the brain of mine, someone like Sharon, um, you know to be a part of a program such as this so it's been a real pleasure um, and, and quite a privilege to work with them.